Right. So we, should we do it? Let's do it. What have we got to say, Ali? What have we got to say? Um, some Mo- words. Mo- molto bene. Molto bene. Hey, molto bene. That's yeah. the, I realise that's the only Italian I know. Buona noches. I don't know what that is. It might be Spanish. <laughs> I know. Hey, and sort of standing around cupping yourself. That's that kind of thing. That's, that's Mario. Italian. Mario? Mario. I actually love Italy. Uh, I, I want to go back there. I haven't been back for a long time and I would really love to go back. I, I've been to various different places and it was all awesome. So, you know. Have you done Venice? Ah, you know, you? Venice. No, we haven't done Venice. Apparently it smells, uh, which it will, when it, it's got a smell. So I don't see what they can do about that. So and Why would I need to go to Venice when I live in Birmingham? Yeah, exactly. There are more canals bah, 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 in bah. Birmingham. <laughs> People not more from Birmingham. More miles... Yeah, more miles of, of canal in Birmingham than Venice. Yeah, well, people not in Birmingham won't get the joke. Though. <laughs> Everyone from Birmingham talks about that all the time. That's that's a Birmingham thing, and town as well. So you go to town, that can mean anything. It can mean the shops just there. It can mean the big shops in the city. <laughs> it can mean some other shops over there. It can mean Reddit shops, yeah, town, know what you mean. and we we know what we mean by town. Going up town. Do you go up town? They were at school with uh, Mr. Um, and uh, up town and asked people questions. Yeah, yeah. And we, every, everyone did business studies GCSE just so they could go up town because <laughs> <laughs> you had to go up town and do do surveys. Yeah, I'll go to the school next next to the shops. I think that's to be a good school. That's the best school to go to. <laughs> So we can, and after school we'll just walk slowly to the bus station and buy a big can, great big can of coke. Super drug, that. super drug, super, super drug. Yeah. People still do that. I bet they do. Yeah. Won't, won't it be really expensive now? It's not fisherman's catch by the school anymore, though, is it? No, it's 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 um, so it's a takeaway, but it's not. I, th- it? I think the li- the fisherman is still there. Is it pizza? It's pizza. Yeah, but I think that they've kept the fisherman. You know, what, remember the massive yeah. fisherman statue? Was frightening. What you need just outside Plastic school fisherman. is a pizza shop. Anyway. <coughs> so, yeah. Smog Magica. Uh, it's the obligatory third album. Uh, as in, normally we're, we've just run out of steam. <laughs> There's nothing to say. So I've, what I've done, I've deliberately jumped forward to something totally different. Controversial album, not the best album. A controversial one. So, the, so there'll be stuff to say and well what about trying this one and rather than you know the people watching know more about the album than we do and it's a waste of time although that's a thing isn't it I think generally people like to watch reviews of albums they've already heard do they agree with me or are they wrong you're wrong what, why have you said these, these facts I wanted these different facts I thought it sounds like you yep so they did the obligatory live album uh, and the sort of bloated follow-up album that was the big one that wasn't actually as good as Falona and Serona. I haven't heard it, I don't know, Contrapunta. But yeah, they decided time to crack the US market. Mm. And I think they actually they started with a compilation of what they thought was more accessible stuff. And then they got a guitarist and moved to LA, to, well, recorded in LA. Controversial. So they play blues rock now. <laughs> but not, well, not really, but... Um, it sounds like Camel. That's what's going to happen. They've got a proper guitarist in, as in a guitarist's guitarist. And it really does sound like Camel. Um, and that means the guitar dominates as much as the keys. Often it's much more guitar than keys. And often it isn't. Um, but it's all, yeah, it's very guitar-y. But that makes it actually less like Genesis. Uh, you've got the banks But it's not it's not a Hackett thing. It's a Latimer thing. It's it is more. There's a Jeff Beck bendiness tones, which is a different thing to the Hackett thing, which makes a big difference. Um, and it, and you, it, you hear the first track and you think, okay, this is this is great. I'm going to enjoy this. It's something different to what we've just been listening to. Um, I think it was like the. It might have been. I think it was the fourth track, the tellingly titled Lazarian Floyd. Um, and I think maybe going into the f- the fifth song as well, Primi Passi. Uh, and I realised I was a bit bored and it, it's not as good as Camel it's like Camel but it's not as good as Camel um, so the, 
it's good, but there's a bit of a meh. And the next one is supposed to be better. Apparently, that's the thing. Um, yes, molto bene. Molto bene. I did some notes for this, Kev. Oh. Uh, you'd be pleased to know. It's upsetting. Yeah. such bad grammar, it's upsetting. Don't change that to a Z. Screw you. That's American. I don't care. We're not in America. Do I look like a girl? That's correct. Sorry. Everywhere around the world. They're coming to America. Anyway. Uh, yeah, what so. Free world. My comprehensive notes. Look warm, smog magica. <laughs> largely boring. <laughs> that's, yeah, there you go. That's Really, that's, you've really, you've done it concisely and correctly and, and ultimately completely. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, who knew the guitars didn't really add. Actually, the guitars seem to take away from the. From what yes, what we've been listening before exactly. You, yeah, yeah, it's you've, really strange. You put something familiar in there, and there's more of the very familiar thing that we've heard too much of. Yeah, and less of the, the interesting thing. And I'm surprised that they're trying to break America, which you're obviously doing in the top track, Los Angeles. America, Los Angeles. But there's no no. You would you'd say okay if we're going to break America, we're going to have to sing in English now. That's true. Yeah. <laughs> and they, they forgot all the, the uh, Peter Hamillness and all that. They didn't actually. I mean, the vocals they actually go missing for yeah the beginning of the a lot, album. A lot of instrumental stuff. Yeah. yeah, which is not too bad if it was a little bit more going on. Yeah, yeah. It was quite quite boring. I mean, there was one track I just had to s- skip it. <laughs> was it Lazarian Floyd? It starts off great. I mean, it might have been. It goes actually, nowhere. Yeah, it's just like this. <laughs> I suppose you call it a motif. Yeah. And you just constantly play with slightly something. different things in the back. Yeah, that's it. And it's like, what, what are you doing? Well, that's, that's Pink Floyd, isn't it? That's, that's what they do. Um, so, yeah, largely boring with some interesting stuff on. Yeah. Um, what's the one where they say shout chow? Is it Primi Passi? I don't think so. That sounded Primi quite... Passi's got a bit of a poppiness, which is yeah. largely absent. So it is actually quite welcome when it comes on. I think... Or ora uncle ora o may pu and primi passi. I think they're the only really poppy things on there. They're the crowd pleasers. Yeah, draw people in, draw the American people in because they like that sort of thing. They love those pop songs. Yeah. Um. So yeah, that's all I got to say about that. Really, covers all right. I love the cover. That's that to me. That's a good problem. You can see that on vinyl. That'd be awesome. Too small on. CD, you can't see it, but um, you can see how you can. That's what. Well, well, it's a very typical prog cover, but doing it really well. So there's lots of little things, which I don't always like. It's often it's you know, uh, but you you know, you can see how you can spend a lot of time finding all little details. I mean, Power Slave is good at that, you know. Yeah, you can, and again, I'm going to bring it up again. Foxtrot, it's terrible. It's a terrible cover. Yeah. Never judge an album by its cover, though. Yeah, it's another one of those things. I wish they'd use that for Felonary Serenary instead of a nude nude picture. Don't know, it's all right. <laughs> there was nudity before. Um, yeah, so not a lot much more to, to say about that, really. Not really, no, no. Uh, I like the last track, Laurel Canyon. Yeah. And that's much a very much... I think that the, it's bookended by... Very, what they would think of as very American music, very guitar-y, Jeff Beck thing. I think uh, Laurel Canyon makes me think of Steve Moore, Stixie Dregs, almost. It's it's nowhere near as busy and whatever, obviously, but it, there's an element of fusioniness in Laurel Canyon, but but softer. And Jeff Beck and, and, and Camel, you know... Um, but yeah, I mean, as I said, you know, Lazarian Floyd gives the game away about what they're doing. They're thinking, well, this is what seventy-five. I recorded in November seventy-five, so it may not come out until seventy-six. But they must have been looking at Pink Floyd and thinking, "Well, we want some of that," because by then Pink Floyd were humongous, which is ridiculous. But they didn't get that success from Obscured by Clouds. <laughs> <laughs> you know, as much as I like Obscured by Clouds, I love it, but that that's not going to change the world. It's not going to. Sell them all number one for 50. Actually, it wasn't number one, was it? It was number two. 
but it's not going to be in the chart for 15 years and all the rest of it you know um, and it ain't as good as Obscure by Clouds either which is much more songy obviously yeah vo- vocals sometimes there's a female voice and a male voice and it's quite funny because it's like <laughs> because it's in Italian <laughs> it's like <laughs> opera yeah, that's what, yeah, yeah but like a silly version um And that's it, yeah. Uh, I like I like what happened next. Though. Apparently the next album is much better. I'm aware of that. It's supposed to be much better, but I picked a, a controversial one because otherwise we just have nothing to say. And then after that, apparently what they did, when it probably became less commercially viable, instead of doing, right, we've got to do pop now, they did some albums, I think two albums, uh, where they switched to classical instruments, which is great. They're moving on, they're trying something else, you know, and thinking, well, that's not going to sell anymore okay did they stay in Los Angeles I don't know I don't think so maybe the next one was still in LA with a different guitarist the guitarist on this left almost straight away <laughs> um, but yeah so a bit later on they the switched instruments classical instruments and I thought that was great but I imagine that just didn't they weren't paying the bills with that yeah. and they had, then they did they did a pop album and it wasn't a hit they did a Love Beach, and uh, that was the end of that, until they reformed, and then they only toured, and they didn't properly come back until no, uh, 95, which is, of course, when you know, the internet had, had, had meant everyone realised, actually, people like prog. Um, it always was a thing, it turns out, but nobody realised that. I thought it was only me, but everybody likes it. Molto bene. Molto bene. That's it. That's the end of the review. How well, long was that? Uh, wasn't very long. Probably about fifteen. It's okay. We've done some long ones. <laughs> some of it was talking about Italy and stuff. <laughs> How many eggs? Egg it. You got to egg it, Kev. Egg, 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 egg. I think it's three eggs. Yeah, it is three eggs because it, it isn't a bad album. It is a good album, but it is boring. It was. Just, I, I, I could dip in and listen to one track and enjoy it, but it's not a sit through the whole album unless it's on in the background. You can have it on in the background, but that's 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 damning it. Isn't it? Same Damn it, with faint praise. Background. It's music. okay if I don't have to listen to it. Yeah. <laughs> if I don't have to be bored. <laughs> Concentrating. The egging is, is the grade of how good the album is. Number of eggs. Yeah, predictably, I'm going to give it two eggs. Yeah. Because I was largely bored. Is that how many eggs I can smash on your head and get home? Yeah, uh, no. No, don't smash any eggs. You always said, yeah. I did. <laughs> I didn't realise you would do it, so it's not happening. Um... Um, so that's um, Le Orme done Le Orme is done we've not really reviewed them we went from that yeah. to that yeah and with that one in between as well and there's one in between <laughs> so I'm sure people are going to hate our review of that do you see all the the comments on this everyone was looking forward like, to us oh, reviewing oh wow this is my favourite band ever I love these yeah, yeah, everything they've done is brilliant <laughs> I particularly just... like uh, the next album and you're like hmm yeah, yeah. and uh, I mean we've we've not said anything about any of the <laughs> not really oh this one has guitar <laughs> this one has lots of keyboards well we spent a lot of time talking about album covers yeah what are we going to do next <laughs> 